Well, good Monday morning, everyone. I'm glad to be with you again. We're going to be looking in the Gospel of John continually as we look at these wonderful words of life from Jesus. Let me ask you a question as we begin this morning. Have you ever been excited about an invitation that you received from somewhere? Somebody gave you an invitation. Was it an invitation to um, a party? Was it an invitation to work at a workplace where you really wanted to do or a college where you really wanted to study? Was it an invitation to be married? Uh, what, what, what was your most exciting uh, or significant invitation? Well, I want you to look at an invitation in the Gospel of John with me in chapter 1 and verse 43. And Jesus is first, he's beginning to encounter men who would later become his disciples. And uh, he's, he's, uh, he, he's already encountered two of John's disciples, and now he's encountering Andrew and Simon Peter. And uh, it comes along that he meets uh, Philip, and he sees Philip and, uh, in Galilee, and he said to him just two words, but they make uh, a very significant invitation. He says in verse 43, he says, the next day he purposed to go forth into Galilee, and, uh, he, and he found Philip, and Jesus said to him, follow me. What an incredible invitation. It was certainly a, uh, a command, but it was actually an invitation. It's the greatest invitation ever when you're really thinking about it because uh, Jesus later says, whosoever will may come, but it's an invitation to come and follow Jesus. Now, what does that really entail? It means that you're going to follow his leadership. You're going to follow his words. You're going to believe in him. You're going to believe that everything he says is true and whatever he does is right and whatever he prophesies will come to pass. And you're going to follow him, really, no matter what. It, it involves surrender. When you follow someone, you surrender to their authority. You surrender to what they want. You surrender to where they're leading. You, you're trusting them and surrendering your life to them. And so when Jesus says, follow me to Philip, he's really saying, I want you to give me your life. And I want you to entrust your life to me. It's also that invitation requires counting the cost of what may be because Philip doesn't know where this is going to lead. He doesn't know what it might be. And so you have to count the cost of what this is to follow something or someone rather. You have to leave someone and some things to be a part of something or a movement or a group or something else. You have to leave other things behind. And so that's what Jesus is saying when he says to Philip, follow me. It means that Philip is going to leave some certain things behind and it's not going to return to those things. It's a one-way journey when you follow uh, Jesus. And at every step, if you think about it, when you determine to follow his leadership, you determine to trust his words and trust his leading, you determine that you're going to surrender your life to him, uh, it's all a matter of faith. So when Jesus says, follow me, and he says that to all of us, can we believe in all of these things? Will you follow him, his leadership? Will you surrender? I pray that we will today. Let's pray in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we thank you that in Jesus we can follow him all the way into the kingdom and to your presence. In Jesus' name we thank you. Amen.